It's toy and collectibles expert Jordan Hembro here, the host of Toy Hunter on the Travel Channel, going across the country in search of the most sought-after pieces. And then he helps people. Well, he becomes basically Santa Claus. I do. Uh, except they have the toys already. <laughs> um, all right, so good morning to you. First of all, is this, in fact, the coolest job there could possibly it, be? It is. I am so lucky to do what I do each and every day. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, and I, let's just get right into it. Okay. I recognize the Furbies from way, way Absolutely. back. Absolutely. 1998. Right? So this is a vintage Furby, that's, I'm, I'm told? That's the vintage one from 1998. Now, the beautiful thing about this year is all the toy companies are coming back out again with all the vintage toys, but they're upgrading them and they're making them really good. I mean, Hasbro Toys has come out with the brand new Furby. Okay. I like to call it Furby 2.0. <laughs> and this one one has a smartphone app, so you can actually talk with Furby on your smartphone, yeah. and it is going to be the hot, hot holiday toy this year. What are we talking, when we're talking dollars, yeah. in a sense, what are we talking, old Furby, vintage Furby? Vintage Furbies, depending on which one you have with coloring, you're talking anywhere between $75 to $100. Wow, that's yep. uh, a ton. Okay, yeah. I, look, yeah. all other toys I know. take a back seat I know what you're to the say. Star Wars action figure. You got it. Um, uh, first of all, uh, never going out of style, we heard you say, what... what in the box. We in the have, box. Uh, okay. We don't have any of the vintage in the box. We've got some of the loose ones. Okay. An X-Wing fighter here and a little Han Solo. We've got Luke Skywalker. I like it. And we've got Han Solo. These are the reissues by a company called Gentle Giant. Okay. And what Gentle Giant has done is they've taken all of our classic Star Wars figures that you and I grew up with, yeah. and they supersized them for the new generation. These are retail for about $80. They're highly collectible. You can play with them. You can put them on your desk, and, and it's, it's fantastic. Okay. And then, uh, well, here we have... Barbie. Good old Barbie. By Mattel. Yeah. Good old Barbie. She's the perennial favorite, the holiday special by Barbie from Mattel. 2012, these are really, really collectible. Uh, we're going to get over here. Uh, this, I believe, in fact, is, well, Katie is our staffer, but this is not. This is, uh, this is another our, staffer. Our good friend and colleague. Oh, she was a little camera shy this morning. Okay. okay, let's take a look. So, Carrie, your Curious George uh, is worth? Curious George, this was done by Knickerbocker Corporation in the 1970s. You're looking at a value anywhere between $35 to $45. Not wow. bad. Okay, it's money. Wow, okay, so then we're having... Um, it's a, is, this a, is this a doll? It, Should I vintage, recognize this doll? Or you know is this what? A vintage doll? This is a vintage doll from the 1950s. I can tell by the hard plastic head. It was done probably by a company called Vogue Corporation. You're looking at anywhere between $75 to $100. Wow. Nice. Okay? Hold on to it. Wow. Okay. okay. And then uh, okay. this is. Fantastic. This is great. I see this. It's heavy metal. What this is, it's not a toy at all. This was actually a premium given away at car dealerships. When you bought a car in 1957, they gave you this premium toy. This is a 1957 Bel Air, worth anywhere between $75 to $150. Wow. So it's really not just baseball cards up in the attic. It's no. the old toys, too. It's the Hang old toys. To it's all kinds of pop culture. All right, and you'll come find them. Again, it's the holiday episode of Toy Hunter. It premieres Wednesday on the Travel Channel. And for Jordan's tips on becoming a toy collector, preserving your children's toys while they're using them, go to goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.